see in different trimesters they have different breathing issues for example mm-hmm. coming to third trimester see for example their weight gets it gets increased also their uh, hormones gets shifted so they have so many cardiovascular changes their blood pressure is altered uh, many children especially maybe one year two year sometime even two three years children are so much addicted to their mobiles mm-hmm. this is one big problem because they are so much addicted they they even their age is very small hello hi everyone namaste welcome to breathe better and live better podcast and talk show today we have one of the eminent doctor the naturopathy doctor and the bnys doctor dr chandralekha thank you dr chandralekha accepting our inter- uh, uh, accepting our request and coming here and enlightening our audience about the garbha samskara and the importance of our importance of the breathing so let me introduce you all to dr chandralekha dr chandralekha is a bnys uh, doctor and garbha samskara coach from bellary karnataka and in her young career dr chandralekha has treated over 1000 plus patients not just the patients it's about 1000 plus families with lifestyle disorders through yoga and naturopathic principles she has turned many complicated pregnancies into healthy ones through an age old practice of garbha samskara which we are going to explore today and she is now on a mission to help 1 million mothers conceive naturally and give birth to the happiest healthiest more intelligent and next word is my favorite is most spiritual babies through garbha samskara to transform the world really the great mission Uh, dr chandralekha and thank you so much for coming here and uh, working on this purpose like which is very very important like the next generation who is coming on very very important thank you for being here yeah. i'm so sorry for this call so yeah thank you so much for the wonderful introduction and i'm so thankful for asking me to come on the live because this is very important to create a nice awareness around the world in fact the situation what we are going through in so many stressful life or so many other things is really sometimes it it can take over so many problems sometimes we don't get time of thinking our own, on our own life sometimes so this is my mission to help many millions of mothers that if a mother is empowered i believe that our entire family is empowered if a child is empowered uh, the entire in fact the next generation is empowered right so that's one my mission like i want to he- help more and more mothers so that through mothers we can help the entire generations uh, upcoming world also can become more healthy happy and also become more prosperous so True. that's one thing and yeah thank you so much for inviting i would like to add more value to this session thank you so much thank you thank you thank you doctor so doctor like i have like the the word garbha samskara i heard very recently like i can say one year ago so previously i do not even know about uh, this word called garbha samskara so many audience are might not aware about this so could you please explain us what is garbha samskara and why did you choose be, being a like a bnys doctor you can do many things why did you yeah. choose garbha samskara as your topic and what really motivated you to choose this niche please go ahead okay so first let me tell what is garbha samskara So the uh, the it, it clearly mentions from the word itself garbha is from the om right samskara is culturing so when a milk is cultured it becomes curd and uh, when we give something very good it becomes samskaras that means we are giving good values and virtues we teach so many samskaras to our children once they are born but what yeah. essentially we have to add values is right from the om so this okay. om life is something which is residing our entire 90 years that means the entire life so if we can control this 9 months the especially the the nurturing period of a mother or the baby this if you control these 9 months in fact we can do some miraculous jobs once your baby is born so that's my main intention why i had to work on pregnancy because so once your baby is cultured especially in pregnancy then your baby's full life is secured some characters or behaviors which cannot be modified during the entire life could be cultured well in the womb so that's my main intention that why i chose this also there is another mission because nowadays as a doctor i can see many many mothers um feeling very very difficult to conceive that's one problem 
and the another great, great problem is that during pregnancy also mothers have so many complications so which is actually pregnancy is a very very nice uh, moment for them to enjoy and cherish those moments but because of these complications because of the stress arts and so many other factors they are not able to feel that enjoyment during pregnancy so mm-hmm. also this has become a big challenge for the baby inside who has not even come out also face uh, has also started facing so many problems within the womb itself so to avoid all possible complications and make pregnancy a really joyful moment so this garbha samskara can help both mother all the also for the baby also for the society as well right so it has a lot of benefits for the mother child and the family also for the world through this we can essentially i am very confident to um, in fact uh, reduce mortality rate and um, morbidity rate of the mother baby in fact we can reduce the hospital stay of the entire generations not just the mother or the baby so if if a baby is born super duper healthy the number of hospital visits because of ill health or any other problem could be essentially brought down so mm-hmm. that's like how we are we can give the entire health guarantee for the child for the entire life so that will be of great help for both the family for the child also for the society so this amount of morbidity can be brought down right in the womb itself so this this was my mission so uh, and also I, when i saw uh, so many pregnant mothers suffering with complications just not the mother is suffering here but the entire family is in tension they don't know what's going to happen next they cannot risk the pregnant mother's health also for the baby's health and for some families it has become such a um, problem and problem that they are they are not even um, in a position to pay that high paying uh, so much of um, bills to the hospital consultations oh. and bills yeah yes 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 and for some pe- pregnant mothers it has become so difficult to take that early miscarriages and all other problems in pregnancy so if you could really nurture the mother we can guarantee that the child could be the most sanskari the the samskaras can be inbuilt from the womb so that's my intention that why why did i come to this field Oh, wow, wow, that's very inspiring, uh, doctor. And uh, also, you are not just dealing with one life; you are dealing with two lives, yeah. and uh, tra- trying to transform the two lives uh, along. Uh, by the time they born, uh, they come to this planet. That's great. Uh, like it's w- wonderful. Thank and you. my next question, like you also touched on some pain points, right? So, what are some of the common challenges pregnant women face in terms of breathing? and how can the breathing exercises can help them like could you please yeah. explain yeah this is a actually very nice question because see in different trimesters they have different breathing issues for example mm-hmm. coming to third trimester so pregnant mothers usually feel shortness of breath if mm-hmm. they lie down sometimes it will be very difficult for them to get up and sit also sometimes so some pregnant mothers feel they, they they cannot walk for a very long distance because they they have the shortness of breath they cannot breathe properly because of lack of breathing properly again it affects their uh, all regular activities right so so these are some of the challenges again coming to some other trimester like first and second trimester there are so many hormonal shift which comes through their way so there is increase in weight there is there are so many complications so not exactly complication but these are some minor ailments but even because with little or uh, minor ailments also can reduce their entire quality of life so how we can improve is essentially with proper breathing patterns so with breathing pattern what happens there especially we are uh, dealing with the parasympathetic nervous system so that's how we can have a good control on the nervous system which is uh, directly affecting all the other systems right so that's one factor with proper breathing there in fact the emotions are controlled their physiological changes what they are going through during pregnancy so each and every pregnancy has a different sets of challenges they have to go through for example mm. in first trimester they will be having so many um, just they have become pregnant so so many thoughts will be coming in their mind so some people will have some complication not complication but symptoms like nausea vomiting some sometimes they will be having this new symptoms coming up they they are not so confident how to deal with all of these things but mm-hmm. with the deep breathing i'm sure that their mind will be so stable and calm that they will essentially be very very happy to welcome all the changes in their body 
there are so many things which comes in their mind emotions also get evolved sometimes there are new thoughts coming in so all of these things can be essentially challenged like easily managed with a deep breathing there are so many breathing practices that they can go through wow wow that's amazing mm-hmm. so you like uh, as you have bought a topic on parasympathetic nervous system so until i come to the space of you are uh, breathing i never knew about that uh, the importance of parasympathetic nervous system uh, and uh, how can we stimulate that what is the concept behind this so because many of our audience may not be aware of this like could you please explain us about like wh- what is the importance of stimulating parasympathetic nervous system and why it is how it is connected to other uh, parts of our body or, or organs of our body hmm. yeah yeah uh, i will i will actually do that see there are two systems one is stress response other one is rest uh, rest yeah no no first one is stress response the other one is relaxation response so we usually talk about stress response so much we know about stress hormones all of that the other one is the relaxation response uh, where you are completely doing the ulta thing for example in stress response what happens there is increase in adrenaline there are many hormones which are triggering more of stress within the body like it in- it increases our heart rate it increases our blood pressure it increases uh, so much of other hormones which are more disturbing to us also that that keeps always our anxiety levels high through relaxation what happens our body is completely operating in a other way round for example while we are in too much stress our body heart rate becomes high through more relaxation what happens our body becomes very calm like we can think properly what happens during stress we are we cannot think properly because our breathing is so fast and our hormones are also con- continuously under some something very much hard to take but during this relaxation phase your body becomes so much aware that it it can really understand what's going inside so with this deep breathing and all other relaxation phases your body becomes more aware of of its own self what is going inside how should i act to this situation how can i deal with this all of these things will work properly at the same time with this parasympathetic nervous system it's when it is getting stimulated our entire like it could be the breathing it could be the stress response everything can be managed very well and also which is very important in pregnancy because see normal physiology is very normal in pregnancy everything gets altered see for example their weight gets it gets increased also their uh, hormones gets shifted so they have so many cardiovascular changes their blood pressure is altered so there are so many things which is going on for adjustment for a, for our for our body to get uh, adjusted for all these physiological changes we have to support it properly we cannot mm-hmm. expect everything to just become like that in one or two days so it's a very slow process for giving a nice chance for our body we have to support it well with proper support it can definitely manage all the symptoms very easily so that is possible only by stimulating or helping parasympathetic nervous system to uh, support our body well yeah true 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 so that's fair like uh, friends like how the breathing helps or anything like because in our old day like more our sympathetic nervous system is more active hmm like we have to consciously activate our parasympathetic nervous system to really help ourselves of course and help the baby especially when you are uh, like conceiving like when you are in a pregnant woman right right, right. yeah so uh, doctor Uh, like are there any specific breathing techniques that can help elevate discomfort or pain during the contractions definitely there are so many techniques in fact see one thing what again i would educate audience also and all other pregnant mothers here is so it's not that only you have to practice during the labor phase it will help i can assure that it it will help if you practice in your labor but things should be practiced right in your pregnancy so that your body gets adjusted see what what we are facing right now in pregnancy is something that can be easily managed with all the relaxation techniques yoga uh, like breathing practices antenatal sessions garbha samskara everything can help so if you are only focusing on the labor then your body has to work like a short like a crash course so if you are preparing for exam entire years pre- examination like preparation will help you better than the crash course alone 
it does not mean that crash course will not help you for exam it will help but the entire years preparation is like something you are giving a nice preparation for your body and your mind also right so somewhere we are only focusing on the physical body so when we start preparing ourselves from all koshas that is anamaya kosha pranamaya manomaya vignanamaya anandamaya so when we are including all different koshas of our body then our body is not only working as a body but it works as an entire being right so again coming to your specific question about the breathing patterns during labor and contractions it definitely helps see what happens during contractions and during labor there are some muscles which are working for example take your uh, like take uterine muscles it gets contracted and relaxed contracted and relaxed so it needs more oxygen it, it needs more glucose also so to do all these things properly on time it needs more oxygen it needs more blood circulation so with mm. proper breathing what we are helping our muscles to do is one thing it gets sufficient oxygen second thing emotionally when we are more calm our body will work accordingly how it is expected mm. so when we are uh, like when a pregnant mothers become um, too much panic or with she becomes more anxious it works opposite way her adrenaline cortisol all the stress hormones will go high what is expected our muscles should work properly so when this anxiety levels go high it it works completely in the opposite way so through breathing what we are doing here is especially the lamaze breathing really helps a lot so when they are doing this controlled breathing properly the abdomen also will help properly for the baby to move down easily at the same time these contraction whenever they get each and every contraction they will not feel too much pain because there is a special science behind this pain also so see when comparing to the pain each and every mother will not feel the same kind of pain because pain is also kind of perception it depends on person to person and differs from person to person uh, it based it is based on how a mother also receives the pain right so yeah. and uh, coming to the breathing pattern when they are going into a deep breathing like lamaze breathing and there are so many other techniques of breathing so when they are going into this deep breathing one thing their mind will be so calm that they are going to support their body very well first thing and when they are breathing properly their their muscles are under their control so it's not like it is going haphazardly and acting however it needs but Uh, it is going to properly support the contractions and relaxation at the same time they are not going to feel more tired see since the labor phase is a very long phase the first stage takes around 8 to 10 hours and the second stage again 1 to 1 or 2 hours so approximately a mother has to work really little hard around maybe 10 to 12 hours so for this long hours she will not be taking so much of food again add so much of glucose so with this limited energy she has to use it so precisely and uh, correctly that she will not feel exhausted at the same time she has to use her energy properly and whenever it is required so through breathing practices we can essentially help this to happen on right time mm. conserve more energy whenever it is required she can spend the energy whenever it is not required she can conserve so this is one of the biggest advantages with the breathing pattern especially in labor and delivery exactly exactly and also like the concept which you have explained like understanding it's not only about physical health yeah. it's also mm-hmm. about other aspects considering other aspect other koshas mental emotional mm-hmm. spiritual uh, health as well considering them and working on all those uh, elements and directions is very very important to have a healthy and spiritual or uh, the baby which you really admire and like in your life yeah. So that is yeah. a very very important uh, element. Everyone has to consider. It's not just about physical health. It's not just about uh, like whether your weight is maintained properly and all. It's also about your mental, like what you are going through during that time. That is mm-hmm. the reason she has come up with uh, today Karva Samskara. Like your thoughts, emotions, everything will impact on your baby. Right. So we just uh, like take it granted, but it's very very important. We only go to go to the hospital and check up. whether my baby is healthy or not physically mm-hmm. the baby is healthy but after conceiving like after the baby comes out many people are complaining nowadays like uh, like my my son is very hyperactive my son mm-hmm. has this this problems that problems many problems people are people are complaining because of not really taking attention during this pregnancy 
i think like uh, you are the best person dr sendralekha ji could you please g- explain like uh, give some examples like uh, people like how mothers are suffering like uh, because they they couldn't take like proper uh, care during the pregnancy like could you please give some examples like what are the challenges like that nowadays the children are facing the current generation children are facing okay yes actually it's a very nice question because we are reengineering back to the pregnancy so now we really know what is the right uh, problem and then we can uh, maybe help many pregnant mothers who are already in their journey of giving birth to their baby so that they can correct these mistakes and prevent all these things in their own children right so very nice questions thank you for asking that yes and in this case what i can tell is right now uh, many children especially maybe one year two year sometime even 2 3 years children are so much addicted to their mobiles hmm. this is one big problem because they are so much addicted they they even their age is very small so they can operate all all applications very well which is actually good but if you only can <laughs> look at the operation wise it's good but what's happening at behind that is they are addicted to the screens and the the most valuable period of any any person could be their childhood right so because of this too much addictions to the mobile and all other technology they are actually losing their own childhood so that is one big problem and because of this too much addiction their vision is going very low their concentration is also hampered so much that they cannot sit in one place at least for 10 15 minutes so it has become a big challenge for mothers especially because they are feeling so many challenges to just feed the child itself right yeah. maybe mothers of the past had so much of time to spend with their children but now mothers have so many responsibilities right so they have to look about their home in laws husband children their work so many responsibilities they have if the child is so cranky and they are playing to so too many tantrums it is difficult for the mother to handle also at the same time look at the time spent between the mother and child it's very lesser when comparing to the past Uh, years so when the child is not so much interacting with the parents look at how they like can you guess any uh, good parenting even the mothers are doing good parenting the child also should be very much uh, grasping for or taking those suggestions from mother or that love and bonding should be starting from early age of the child right so that is not happening right now because of this mobile addiction so to overcome these things during pregnancy what we can do is must one one most important thing is try not to focus more on these gadgets if yeah. if as a pregnant mother if they are focusing more on these things even the child also will learn from the womb itself wow. so i always tell these things to all pregnant mothers that whatever you are doing doing during your pregnancy that will be like a xerox copy of your child <laughs> if you are feeling okay. more more anxious during pregnancy then you can expect the same thing from your child so if you are pregnancy like if 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 some pregnant mother is uh, doing some nice meditation or listening to some nice music then we also can expect the same thing from the child so if a pregnant mother is more calm happy then you can expect a more happy and calm child so now what you can especially like what a pregnant mother can do during pregnancy is follow nice samskaras more add more values into your life when you can essentially add more values into your life you can also expect your child to do the same thing and we have moral rights to tell the child that you have to do this and i can help you doing this right yes. if 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 a pregnant mother herself cannot wake up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning how can you ask the child to wake up early and go to the school on time this is not yeah. also right again applying a very small logic pregnancy is some beautiful period of life where we cannot reverse it back mm. for example we lost some money during some time something we can again we can again earn the money back some yeah. time yeah. is lost we cannot bring the time especially the pregnancy time is once done is done mm. so your child's almost the destiny is done already so i always mm. call pregnant mothers are creating their baby's destiny in their in their womb so mothers have really got a huge responsibility on their shoulders that they can essentially do do only in their pregnancy so that's why this um, garbha samskar is so much important for all the pregnant not only mothers but also for the fathers mm. okay for fathers as well 
Okay. Yes. <laughs> so pregnancy is not only for mother. See, a mother carries the child in the womb for nine months, but a father mm-hmm. carries the child in the mind for nine months. Mm-hmm. Responsibility is equally there on both the mother as well as on the father. Okay. Okay. Great. So when you are saying, I just remember one quote from Gandhi, like uh, "Be the change you want to see in the world." So well, I just say, like, "Be the change you want to see in your baby." Right right, 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 right. So, like, uh, every parent, like, whoever is watching, like, uh, you expect so much from your child, but be the change. Like, I right. know many parents; they want their children to do yoga, they want their children to practice breathing techniques, but they, their family itself not practicing. How can children get motivated to practice? Correct. Right. So, my father told me to learn music in my childhood. My father told me to do many things, but I didn't do because I don't. I didn't get any inspiration from my home itself. So, how can he expect me to do? Right. right. Now I realize that okay, like I lost my childhood time. Like now I'm spending a lot of money and time to learn all the, uh, like all all I want to learn, you know. Right. So. like any parent who is watching be the change you want to see in your children then they'll surely like accept and you have a moral authority to ask your children as she as the uh, dr chandraleka mentioned so that's great so uh, like uh, dr chandraleka like what are some practical tips or exercises that mothers can incorporate into their daily routines to improve their breathing or uh, like during the period of pregnancy okay so one most important simple things i'll tell first so first thing is to maintain good posture many of the pregnant mothers are not aware about this is the posture thing if you can sit really properly when you are sitting or when you are lying down the positions and postures are one most important thing because our breathing our lungs are situated in such a like such a beautiful manner that if you can sit properly that itself can help to breathe very nicely right that's one most simple thing that anybody can do very easily second important thing is to be little more conscious on breathing right we are conscious on doing everything on the world but sometimes we forget on our own breathing so so breathing is so much connected with our emotions our physiology in fact every system is too much connected with the breathing as you already know it because you are a breathing coach yes. expert yes i i understand that so through this now they will become more conscious about see one thing if they are more conscious on breathing practicing properly on a daily basis their emotions are so much calm and controlled even if something goes wrong tomorrow they are ready to take it properly and handle those stress very easily otherwise even a small disturbance happens they are so much disturbed that they cannot take very easily right so focusing on having little more awareness on breathing will really help them so much at the same time uh, like they have to take a little little part of their time their entire busy schedule to at least spend little time with their own self yeah we have so many activities in the world to do but sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves especially women um they 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 have so much of time to take care of everybody in the home office everybody but they forget to take care of them, themselves so i acknowledge every pregnant mother is, is is really like a goddess mother because they they are really caring their baby so much so now i am asking them also to take care of themselves because when they are taking care of themselves the child is within child who is there inside is automatically taken care so this one every every mother in fact a pregnant mother also a mother should take care of themselves only then their family will be taken care very well mm-hmm. and so when they are practicing uh, breathing practice so so they have to at least consult a doctor and ask them whether they can do it or not because there are some conditions uh, where they should not be practicing certain practices so that they have to note it mm-hmm. and uh, when they are doing it let them be more conscious on your breathing so there are hundreds of thoughts which are going inside let everything be there there is some special uh, saying called as action time and thinking time so when you are in action don't think of something which is doable or not doable when you are acting do only acting when you are thinking do only thinking if you mix really both then there is no nothing called as being more conscious on what we are doing right now so that self time is most important in that self time they can breathe properly they can do yoga practices a nice stretching even i would like to add more uh, light on uh, like 
it's not only about the breathing but also like light stretches and giving asanas, nice you, asanas you, yoga especially in pregnancy yoga will help like so much so it is not only for the physical body yoga can help for the entire the systems of the body at the same time it, it is like a mind body medicine it's not only the body which is like you are improving your flexibility you are giving nice stretches flexibility is improved everything is good but along with this when you add more consciously breathing conscious stretching all these things will add more power to your body that you will become a magnet to miracles true true that's absolutely right like uh, that's where like people misunderstand that like mm-hmm. this is a body thing and etc so like it's not about like body thing is like for example if you consider gym and this so mm-hmm. it's uh, completely a holistic science right so it works on all the layers of our body that's a great example doctor and can you please share any success stories or testimonials from the women who have practiced practiced breathing techniques during their pregnancies yes yes from my own community there are so many mothers who have essentially mm-hmm. practiced one example i would like to give from my own community so uh, when she became pregnant her age was 40 years so okay. this was like a nice challenge for her as well as for all the doctors because her breathing was very low because her age was not so supporting for her at the same time she was second time mother her first son was 13 years old when she conceived the second child so when she reached seventh month her her breathing was so low that she was feeling so much difficulty in her breath so and even back pain was something which was bothering us so much so and hemoglobin levels was to, like very low in fact her case was little little bit complicated to treat her in that age was little again uh, some challenging it was but by or proper nutrition with proper breathing practices especially the lamage breathing all other specific breathing practices what she has learned during pregnancy has has really helped us so much that she ended up giving natural birth to the baby wow that's that's really a great achievement for herself that after giving birth to a child in fact i have to tell about the first pregnancy for that matter for her child when she was in labor for the with the first child her labor took around two nights two nights and one day how long is it how painful it was for her and this time with the proper breathing especially the labor management what she had learned during the classes it was so helpful that she delivered her baby within 6 hours yes only 6 hours and it was not at all painful she was telling that in first pregnancy i faced so much that i was having little fear that what if that repeats during her pregnancy after learning all these things she was so confident mm-hmm. even doctors were shocked to see that uh, a 40 year old woman also can give natural birth that too with so so short duration mm-hmm. wow. this like she became more confident within her life that she can do anything that confidence she developed that's so amazing it's like we can create so many miracles within our life when we can believe something surely like that i can do it then only mm-hmm. we can yeah true true that's uh, that's amazing inspiring story really like uh, right so mm-hmm. it's a very joyful moment for everyone in the world like the, when the baby comes out like it's a very joyful moment in the family and everyone so it's mm-hmm. very very important dear friends it's uh, to take care uh, like your uh, health during the pregnancy and also the baby's health during the mm-hmm. pregnancy and uh, really implement these strategies which we have discussed today some of the strategies but uh, mm-hmm. if you consult dr chandralekha she is going to share more strategies uh, what you have to do especially during the uh, time of pregnancy so like uh, the her niche is very very responsible and uh, very joyful niche for many people like uh, she is uh, bringing happiness in many people and thank you so much uh, dr chandralekha and uh, could you please uh, share like because uh, this is the last question i ask in uh, uh, to every guest who comes to my talk show mm-hmm. so like uh, what what are the some uh, tips you would, would you like to give to my audience okay final tips yeah tip to audience would be first love yourself mm. we love everyone we love our life partner we love our parents everyone is good but if you start loving yourself you really care for yourself first 
you have to take care of yourself not only giving nice clothes and all of that it's good anyway we are doing that for ourselves but sometimes that me time that self time is most important because you come alone to this beautiful world also we go out of this world only alone we can go out right so during this stay we have to make this a very nice good stay in this world so that really makes us something beautiful in our life that we can create something very great so mm. that thing can come only by self love mm. when we love ourselves so much then we don't have to take approvals from others yeah so this is one thing i always want to give as a message to everyone apart from this so we have some responsibilities from our side so we as human beings we have to care each other grow each other and support each other only then we can create a healthy environment for ourselves at the same time for the next generations hmm. so be it the resources uh, renewable renewable resources or non renewable resources whatever it is the maybe like pollution whatever it is as a person we have some responsibilities to be like to fulfill in this world so as a person if we can do some at least a little help for this world we can do something great in this world like planting one small plant like a growing a tree or helping some needy person giving some charity whatever the way that at least one thing what we can do in a month in a day how much ever we can do not only in the form of money but anyway that that really brings a lot of difference in the world so i chose this niche especially as a doctor i wanted to help millions of mothers so only then we can give at least a small change in this world right so i chose this and i'm giving this challenge to everyone out there who is whoever is watching this live or even the recording that even a small difference can give a great difference in the world if not today maybe tomorrow or day after so that's one message from my side to everyone out there great great very inspiring doctor like it's a real like find your purpose right so we are here not just only like to eat to sleep and to work or uh, take care of our family it's also there is something and also you mentioned about um, like renewable energy and all which is one of the closest topic for me being an environmental engineer so oh, you really? coming from naturopathy and uh, nature yeah. like we 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 always we come from nature right yeah. that's people miss that like that element like we always like in our culture we always say like uh, agni as a god water as mm-hmm. a god ganga as a god and everything yeah, as a god but we we become very unconscious when we are uh, doing these acts when you are when we are wasting water if you really right. consider ganga as your mother do you throw mm-hmm. the waste in the uh, in the river of ganga or do you really waste the water of uh, ganga and all so it's about like raising that consciousness and living with the nature and understanding that we are here because of the nature nature is not here because of us yes. we are very minuscule point of a uh, person here so yes. the air you are breathing the water you are drinking is coming from the nature the food you are eating is coming from the soil the mm. soil you you haven't bought the soil soil mm. is given by nature mother nature Yes. Right. So, when the people understand these principles, like and start start living with the, coexisting with the nature, then the world which we are going to build is completely a different world, and we all live together, and we understand that because of them we are here, and we respect and we show our gratitude to the mother nature. Right. So, with that message, uh, thank you so much for your time, Doctor Chandralekha, and uh, I hope uh, this session was very useful for the audience. If you, if it is useful, please share your takeaways in the chat box. And if you would like to consult Doctor Chandralekha, please reach out to me. I'm happy to share her contact, and uh, she is, she also does uh, so many webinars, and she has her own community. And you can reach out to her. You can be part of her community. You can learn all the techniques. And if you or anyone you know, like who are pregnant, uh, like if you refer to them. and uh, so that they will be happy and they will have a happy pregnancy time so uh, thank you so much see you again thank, thank you